Hey, good morning everybody. Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well as I will be uploading the video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description. Bethune Docking 2.0 has officially begun here in January of 2023. A little bit of a delay yesterday. We had a bunch of rain come through here and kind of flooded the valley where Jen and Kyle were going to host the event and park all the RVs. Uh, but they did get in, start getting in around 3. I missed the first night pretty much completely, except the end of the fire, because tater tots stuff went into the night a little bit longer than expected, but uh, I'm going to show you that right after we have our little coffee social this morning on day two. So we're going to get started, and here we go. This is the field where we were going to park, but uh, it's kind of muddy in there. So we got RVs all back there. Uh-huh, as I continue to come around. Yeah, we got more RVs over here too. Hello. Yep, now we're talking. Kyle's dad's getting a fire going here and a, a big old John Deere tractor tire rim there. <laughs> Heck yeah. And look at this, I got some pastries here. Mmm. -hmm. Snacks. Morning snacks. And uh, fruity decorations if you're into that. So actually, the strawberries look pretty good. <laughs> yep, everybody just enjoying some snacks and coffee right now. All right, it's finally up to 44 degrees here, so t shirt now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, guys, tater tot. Uh, before I show you what's going on with tater tot, let me just point out that when I was looking for a smart car over two years ago, I was looking for a specific color smart car that I wanted. And unfortunately, that really limited the smart cars that I was looking at initially until a friend of mine said, Eric, get the best smart car out there despite what color it is, and then you can change it later. They're plastic panels, you can get it wrapped, you can get it any color you want, but get the best one. And, and I liked that idea, so that's what I did. And honestly, it has taken this long, and even getting the car wrapped my color this time still took a full month. I pulled in last night after they had it for five days to wrap my car, and they stayed four hours after closing. That's why I missed the first night of Bethune docking. But um, what I really, really wanted was a Cerulean Blue smart car, and now, Ladies and gentlemen, I have a one-of-a-kind smart car. Nobody has a blue smart car quite like this. I am so happy to see it come to life, guys. So everything that was white is now blue. Everything that was silver is now black, including the mirrors and the frame that goes around the cage here is all black. Actually, let's walk around the other side where the sun's at. You can really see how blue it is. I love it. <laughs> that is one cool way to just kind of completely change the look of a vehicle. Because to be honest, I was right there. I was at that two year mark where I start to get a little bored of things and I want to change. And uh, I'm glad that a couple friends, Sean and Robert, uh, talked me out of making probably a bad decision. So instead, I get to keep Tater Tot with a fresh new look that makes me happy. And uh, <laughs> that is stage one. Of course, I, I hinted in my last video that we're gonna get Tater Tot lifted also this year. More on that later though. That blue just pops. Man, it's so cool. Nobody in the world has a smart car that looks like this now. Still kind of chilly, but we're just hanging out here. It's Saturday. It sure yeah, smells good. Yeah. You may meet some of these people's rigs here. We're going to do a, a parade of all the rigs here at Bethune Docking and uh, maybe get to go inside and get some information. There's a couple cool buses over there that I'm really excited to see. Tater Tot. I don't think anybody's interested in Tater Tot, but I, I like it. It's actually, it's wearing on me. At first, I was being a little nitpicky about a few things, but uh, overall, I'm, I'm just glad I got the color I wanted. Yeah. All right, so we're going to start walking and uh, tour a couple rigs here. All right, so the first one we're going to look at is a Jayco Eagle fifth wheel 35 foot, I think. And uh, on the back here, they've actually got two folded up e-bikes. I like that you can't tell they're e-bikes, and of course I like that the uh, cover there matches the RV. Uh, it looks like today we go. Look, look them up on uh, social media. Let's go check it out. All right, kitchen with an island. They got a fridge, man. I like a that. 
They got the dinette. They got the sofa over there. They even got the TV facing the sofa. I like that. And I'm a little jealous of that fridge and freezer. Some bunk beds here for the kids. Two there, another one there. And they got a TV in here. Very nice. Little table to do the homework. Yeah, it's a nice fifth wheel. And then up the stairs. Here's where the bathroom is. Nice toilet, like the porcelain toilet there. Uh-huh, shower. And the master bedroom. I love the walk around. That'd be so nice to have. All right, and now we're gonna look at this 1969 flexible bus. It reminds me of the, the Guernicke's bus on uh, RV with Robin Williams. It's a beautiful restoration here. Diesel pusher here. If you wanna pause it there and follow them on Instagram at Flexapeel flexi Bus. <laughs> I love it. He's uh, added stabilizer jacks to the bus. There's a generator there, a pull-out toolbox, a pull-out Blackstone grill and stove. Yeah. And then if you want to pause the video there and get all the information on it there. I love it. And Flex Appeal for a name. That is just great. Awesome. Well, let's go inside. Ooh, look at the tile. 69 flexible. Couch there. Ooh, nice little workstation right there. I like that one. Got a little two-person dinette. I like that yep. size there. That is the perfect size for a dinette. There's a story to that. Yeah, is there? Yep. Tell me about it. The guy that built this had the bus all planned out. Started building from the back. Got to here. The kitchen was supposed to be on this side. Uh huh. And for one reason or another, it wouldn't. Hey, shh, shh. It wouldn't work. So he thought, well, no big deal. I'll just switch it over. Put it on the other side. So he built it over there. You notice how wider this wall is. Yeah, than this it one. would. You wouldn't add a hallway. He brought the dinette <laughs> in, and it came up. No here. hallway. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, I guess we get a two-person. I love it. Yeah, I'm glad he did. I really like the way it. You got works. lots of Schooly Swarm stickers there oh, yeah. and magnets. I've been to most of oh, them. Oh my gosh, you've been to a lot. <laughs> love it. And some more stickers yeah. and magnets over here. And looks like a queen-size bed. Walk around in the rear of the bus. I love those old-school windows too. All right, next up is Paul's Durango Gold fifth wheel here. Now we do have a few projects we're working on. I don't know if you've ever seen any of our old videos. We had a van and Megan did Chinese fishing boat wood on one of the walls. So we're working on that in the center island. It's unfinished, but it's in progress. And I've taken out a couple panels, some dead space and opening up more storage. But anyway, it is what it is. We hope you enjoy it. All right, yep. peek upstairs here first the bathroom and shower mm -hmm. and master bedroom with a walk around queen or king I don't know I bet there's a lot of closet room behind there in the living area with an island Ooh, I need a dreaming out loud DOL sticker awesome nice big fridge and freezer there oh and then a separate little room here whoa that's cool with couch Maybe like a little bunkhouse area with another TV in here, a little cubby hole. Nice big 42 inch TV there. A couple of recliners and a couch. Look at this deck. Look at this deck. Oh. That's nice. Very nice. All right, finally a class C. E450 Ford, love the paint scheme. An Integra. And they got a Disney sign out front, Happy, Happy Campers, Dan and Carrie. Let's go check it out. We have our 2022 Integra Esteem Model 27U. And it's been our home for a little over a year now, and we absolutely love it. I love it, too. It's my yes. favorite so far. Yes. <laughs> I can take a peek. You bet. Have a ball. Quick peek in here. They got the slide out over on the dinette there. There's the kitchen island there. King size bed. Pull out couch there. Yeah, now I feel like I'm at home. I love I love the dark wood though too. Complete walk around king size bed there. Bathroom there. Lots and lots of storage and lots of fridge and freezer space. Yes. Next up is Blue Betty. Red, white, and Bethune Kyle and Jen's bus here. I have not been inside. Let's go check it out. Silver Eagle bus. The kitchen area has been remodeled four times uh, because we couldn't make up our mind and what worked and what didn't work. 
so everything else, the shower is original, bathroom is original, and our bedroom is kind of original. But the main renovations we did were in the middle. So yeah, we've been on the road for three years now and we love it. I never want to sell her because she's just, I love her. So anyway, have at it. Thank you. Love that. All right, got the dinette and the couch and the new kitchen. They got four doggies. They travel with four. Oh look, we got a red, white, and Bethune Mac a sticker there. Yep, residential fridge and freezer there. We got the new kids bunks here. Sink and toilet. We got some more beds up here for the kids. We got kennels down here for the puppies. I know guys, I know. And the bed, they got a Mr. Cool what do you call it? Mini split there. I love the green grass background behind there. Looks great. Yep. And guess what? My RV is not the smallest rig here. <laughs> the Red, White, and Bethunes also have this uh, custom-built Mercedes chassis camper van, which is actually for sale if you're interested in this. Let's go take a peek on inside. They built this out and it is on their channel of all the stuff they did couch dinette they got a toilet right there bed space there more bed space this thing can sleep quite a few love the uh, wood ceilings up through here that's gorgeous little fridge there and a sink yeah fantastic fan there and uh, yeah Hit up Jen or Kyle on Red, White, and Bethune if you are interested in purchasing this. They're going to be in uh, Blue Betty there, so they're getting rid of this. Passing it on to somebody else, the next next person. And uh, Kyle's here cooking. Well, he's he's, he's smoking meat for uh, dinner tonight. Take a quick peek here. Oh my gosh, got chicken. We got pork butt. We got, holy cow, look at that pork. Wow. <laughs> Wow, smells good. Next up is trivia. We're forming teams of two to four right now. What is the longest road in America? I-80. 90? I think it's 90. US 20. Oh. You were going to the highway, sorry. It's highway 20, right? Highway 20. Highway 20. US 20. Sorry. So we got four right now. Well, we came in second place on trivia. Uh, we're gonna have dinner here in a little bit and also karaoke later. So we're gonna have some fun as the sun sets. It's still chilly. It's gonna it's gonna possibly freeze tonight in Florida, 32 degrees. Very unusual. It's the only time it'll happen in an entire year. It's gonna happen tonight at Bethune Docking, of course. Oh yes, thank you, Kyle. This looks so good. Oh yes. There's my plate. Chicken, baked beans, mac and cheese cornbread and pulled pork yeah it's so cold we're hanging out in the car <laughs> how is it throw it on the ground. they're all gonna throw it on the ground you guys throw anything on the ground how is it mm, delicious. <laughs> mm, I don't know how to cook all right enjoy the heat guys <laughs> Is that Tara Bobera's favorite spot next to the heater? Got the propane catalytic heater there on. You love it right there, don't you? You should tell Opie to come join you. Say it's nice and warm over here, Opie. Where him's at, Tara? Where's your brusher? I'll find him.
There he is. He's in the Christmas tree. By popular demand, I'm not going to remove the Christmas tree. I may reupholster it throughout the year to fit the different seasons. But uh, both the kitties just love this little cute little cubby hole spot. It's so fuzzy. He is a good boy. He's a good boy. I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. At this day, we still have one full day of Bethune docking tomorrow to follow. As well as, you guys will be watching this Monday, so go Cowboys! <laughs> my Cowboys! Yeah, I'm no longer a Seahawks fan. Uh, my Cowboys are playing here in Tampa tomorrow, a playoff game against Tampa Bay. Uh, it's kind of tough to be a Cowboys fan in, in Tampa ter territory, but I'm going to do it. Man, I would love to go see the Cowboys play. Maybe I should look at tickets here and wear my jersey. Hmm. Well, we got to wrap up Bethune Docking, so I will see you guys here in a couple days. Don't forget, here in a couple days, on Thursday, this Thursday, this week, is the meet and greet. You can come see me. You can come see the Bethunes at the Florida RV Super Show at the Florida State Fair Fairgrounds, the Florida RV Tampa Show, you know, the big thing. This Thursday, the 19th, at 12.30 p.m. in the meet and greet pavilion, I'm giving away... This, a complete DISH network, DISH outdoor system with satellite receiver, remote, SIM card, ready to go, just like I watch TV. Giving it away at the show. You can enter a drawing to win it. And this, a brand new Nomad Internet Nomad Air router with a year of service included. Enter a drawing to win this for free. 5G, C-band, awesome speeds. And of course, I'm going to give you out a free sticker. I got my stickers. See you guys on Thursday. If you're not coming to the RV show, I'll see you in a couple days here on YouTube. Good night, guys. Bye-bye.